Hey guys, I am Forever a Game, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 The 100 Baby Challenge, Season 3, Part 20. In the last episode, um, Lucy got woohooed or whatever, and it's Valentine's Day, so obviously, I feel like I've done this, like, every year for at least the past three or four years. Obviously, The 100 Baby Challenge had to go up on Valentine's Day, I mean, it's a tradition, but in this episode... The Encanto children are moving out. So, I forgot. Apparently, I did not show Isabella's outfit. This is Isabella's outfit. Um, oh my god. It's this outfit. I try to, like, you know, make it look like the one she wore in the movie. And, yeah, I think she's the one that most looks like her counterpart from the movie. Because it was, e I guess hers was easier to do. And then, um, obviously, Bruno's little outfit. Um, but they're leaving this episode, so. I think they might be leaving now, so. I need you, he wanted to read a book. So I thought maybe he could do that before, but no. So, give that book back to Lucy, because it's hers. And then, the children are leaving, so. Isabella, um, we're gonna keep the butterfly, and we're gonna name it Isabella after her. Um, give name. Isabella. Mm, we'll do Isa. We'll do Isa. Because, like, that's debatably should have been her nickname, but I just call her Isabella. And then, do you have anything? Okay, none of them have anything. And he didn't even get the thing to graduate. It was weird. Like, ugh, I guess we'll never know. So, time to leave. Um, Move within this neighborhood, and so the Encanto children are all leaving. I think I got a screenshot of all three of them. If not, I can just go back. Oh, yeah, and Lucy and what's-his-face, Jesse, are teaching the children how to do their things. Thanks. true. Okay, but yeah, they're doing that because Lucy's a good mother. I think Lucy, if we're ranking mothers, Lucy is a better mother than Blake, and Blake was a better mother than Naomi. Um... 500, what? Okay, sure, kick out. They'll go where they go. They'll go where they go. Oh, yeah, Bruno, um, he got natural cook, and, um, he wants to be a celebrated five-star chef. I think I may have aged him up in between. There are no lots. I don't give a fuck. Just put them in a house. I don't care. Like, I don't care. Mm. It always stresses me out when it does that, when it shrinks to just the kicked out household, because it makes me, it gaslights me into thinking that I clicked make them an active household, because I didn't. But yeah, so that's what um, he got. He got natural cook and then celebrated five star chef. You'll just have to trust me. You'll just have to trust me on that. Um, yeah, natural cook and then celebrated five star chef. So, yay. Bye. They're leaving. Um, I don't think any of the other children can age up. No, they all have bees. Do your fucking homework. I really like Nia's look. I really like what I did with her. Payson, go home. Who's this? Virgil Bianchi. Nice to meet you. Do you know him? Okay, you know him, so go home. Um, Lucy. Oh, yeah, and I added some things. I added some flourishes to the house. Um, but yeah, they're teaching. So, you can put... Can Sasha do everything now? He can walk. Yeah, he can walk, he can talk, and I think they can both use the bathroom. Sagan cannot use the bathroom. Okay, so put Sasha down. And then, um, answer the phone. And then you can go dance. And then we'll go toward the house. No. Okay, so basically, all that's changed, we obviously have our four all-in-one bathrooms. I bought a guitar because somebody wanted to do that. Um, what else? Um, I bought this little thing because Bruno wanted to learn the charisma skill, so I bought this little, like, you know, mirror thing for, you know, our cute little thing. 
I brought, I bought more lights. Um, I bought another bed for this one because the teenagers, there were too many teenagers. Um, I think that's it. Um, there's these shelves with all the children's crap. And then the biggest, um, the biggest refurbish was, um, Lyra's barn. I gave her, I gave her an upgrade because it was mostly her money. So after we bought all the things that I wanted, I decided to, you know, update Lyra's barn. So I don't think I'm going to be changing the walls, but I changed her flooring. I gave her this rug. I gave her this cute little, like, living room kind of thing. I bought her this super expensive couch. Um, yeah. I think we're going to turn this barn into, like, the greatest bachelor I've had ever. It's going to be so cute. So, it's going to be lovely. Oh, yeah. Lyra needs to go kill somebody. Um, who did I decide? I think I decided on... Hmm. Let's go kill... <laughs> That's terrible. Um, we're gonna go kill... Hmm. 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 Let's go kill... We need to kill somebody. Like... Oh yeah, I wanted to go kill Giuseppe Esposito. Because he is a retired politician. And he was the one, I'm pretty sure... This is the storyline. He was the one that had to be, um... That we had to befriend or whatever, I believe. I hope this is the same man. Because otherwise the plot falls apart. And we tried to... The goal of that was to try and recruit him to be on our side, but he said no, he wanted to stay on the straight and narrow, but now he knows our shit, so now we have to go kill him, because he decided he just wanted to, you know, be a retired politician, and it's like, girl, that's not how this is going to go, so, where does he live? I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go invite him out, and then we'll kill him. Um, this is pretty. This is pretty. We'll go here. I'd like to invite you out. And we're gonna go kill him. <laughs> we're gonna kill him. Assassination. <laughs> Improving in the assassination school will help your sim advance in their career. Fuck you. You're retired. You're retired. We may, go, we may go later if he says no again. He's not working. Not Mirabella Cop. I'll make him our friend and see if he does the same thing. Because he does not have a job. He's retired. So I don't understand. Okay. Oh, Isabella's a chef. That's different. Um, Bruno's a chef. That's expected. Okay, so I guess you can just hang out for right now. Okay, we'll just wait, I guess, until later. If not, we're going to go grab him and make him part of our household. And then we'll go kill him. So, Sagan needs to be potty trained and then the children can age up. Potty train. And then you can go play with the blocks. Are you home? You can go do your homework as well. You done with yours. Mateo, go paint. And then you are done. You wanted to go swimming. Go swimming. Um, instead of going swimming in the pond, why don't you go swim in the river? Um, what did you want to do? Earn a name in school and talk to Lyra. You're not speaking to Lyra. She's busy. Second was potty trained. Yay. Sing karaoke. Visit the park. Sing karaoke. Mm. Eventually, we should probably buy a karaoke machine since all the children want to go do that. Um, but we're not going to. So are you done? Because if everybody's done with their crap, we'll age the children up. Well, the toddlers. We'll age them up. Okay, so yay. So why don't you... Actually, no. Why don't you go play with the blocks? 
And then you can go empty this and then we'll age them up in a minute. I would like a screenshot of them playing with their blocks. The babies. How sweet. They could be best friends. Cute. Okay, so we'll age them up in a minute. So everybody's done with their thing. What is this? Teach age Sagan up well. Tickle Sagan? No. See a symphony? No. Go on a date? No. See Nolan graduate? That's reasonable. And then take a photo with a friend. You may take a picture with Lyra later. So, oh yeah, and I'm pretty sure, apparently, I googled it. If you put the butterfly in like a jar or whatever, it'll die. So we're just gonna keep it on our inventory so it won't. Um, why don't you... This is his athletic wear. I really don't know why he's wearing it. Um, do we have food? Yeah, we have food. I had him summon vegetarian dim sum because that's Lucy's favorite. Let's we'll still learn the piano skill and go jogging. Um, why don't you go jogging then? Um, jog. I wish you could just tell them to go jogging. Like, and they just jog around. That sounds funner. Than me having to be like, go jog here, jog here, jog here. Is it gonna... Yay! Jog here. Oh god, somebody's gonna have to pick up the gardening skill. Jesus. Oh, and for this, I kinda wanna set up like a little outdoor, like, eating hangout area. We may put the karaoke machine here, because there's, yeah... Because, like, I try to do some realistic things, and, like, I feel like, realistically, I would not want to put a karaoke machine just outside to the elements. But, like, if there's, like, an awning over it, it's fine. Right? That seems reasonable. Um, it's 8.23, so you should be, you should be done with whatever fake job you have to try and not go to the little thing with me. We're going, like. You're going with me. Like, we're going. He will meet his end tonight. <laughs> okay, that's not how this is going to go. Reset. Sim. Giuseppe. Esposito. G-I-U-S-E-P-P-E-E. -P -P -E -E. G-U-I. No. G-I-U-S-E-P-P-E. -P -P -E. Esposito. So, okay. Invite out. To the fucking fishing park. Where is he? Where is he? We reset him again. NRAS, Master Controller, Sim, Focus. We're doing this. This is how this is going to go. So, Esposito, where is he? Where is he? Like... Okay, let's try it. Let's try it this way. Like, he's just not there. Invite over. Where does he live? Lucio Weber. Oh, that's, I guess, where they live. Taylor Medina. Like, we're going to kill him. Where is he? Where does he live? Is he in here? Um... Sam... Status. 
Master Controller, Sim, Status, um, Personal. Can we look him up now? Esposito. Where does he live? Oh, he's the proprietor. Damn it. Um, the proprietor where, though? Um, where would he be? He'd be at, like, a bar. Could he be here? Why doesn't it say he's the fucking proprietor, then? Isabella Monti. Alessandro Giordano. Bruno. Okay, so he's not the proprietor here. Where is he the proprietor, then? Um... Where is he? Um, no. He'd be maybe here. I feel like he could be the proprietor here. This is the only place I feel should debatably have a proprietor. Jamison Crenshaw, the proprietor. So he's not the one here. He's gotta be another bar. At a bar? Yes. Maybe here. Where is he, the proprietor? Like, I don't understand it. Where could he be, the proprietor? Because we don't have a park. Like, unless he's, like, right here. Patrizio Monti. It's a girl, so it's not him. Like. Oh, I have an idea. NRAS, Master Controller. Where is it? Um, Invite over. Oh my god, why can we not... Like, if he's supposed to be our friend or whatever... Oh, that's so irritating. Whatever. We'll kill somebody else. Okay, um... Janine... Is... An op. Janine is a snake. Janine is a sneak, a snake. She's a government operative. So now, Lyra, this is Lyra's initiation. So now we have to go kill her. Because she betrayed the family. And it's going to be this big thing for Lyra because she and Janine are friends. But Janine's a snake, a sneak, a liar. And she has betrayed the family. So, this is what we're going to do. Um, should we put her in something a bit more dramatic? She shows up in a ball gown. That could be funny. Um. <laughs> this feels like this feels like James fucking Bond, but like she's like the campy villain, like in a ball gown, like she's giving Anna to Armas in that James Bond movie. Like that's what she's giving, except like you know, villainous. I don't think Anna de Armas was villainous in that movie. Fatigue, she's not fatigued anymore. She's in her ball gown. She's better go kill somebody. It's gonna be such a moment. A moment she will never be able to recover from. Or never get to take back. She'll be able to recover from it fine. Like, she wanted to be this. She wanted to, like, be in the mafia. Like, she'll be fine. But it'll be a moment she can never take back. She took a cab here, which, debatably, was that the best idea? No. Oh, she looks so pretty. She'll look beautiful while she doesn't. Let's go, Janine. Hey, girl. Um. Form group. 
Oh my god, the horse is the witness. That stupid fucking horse, who cares? We're gonna go somewhere pretty. Can we go here? No, I was like, can we push her in the water? Um, let's go in front of the fountain. Go here. Come on, get into a fucking groove. I will take a picture, look, while we're here. We'll kill her in a minute, but, like, I want to kill her somewhere, like, pretty. This is such a moment for Lyra. We need good screenshots of it. That's her friend. I'm pretty sure Janine went to our Christmas thing. I'm pretty sure. Because we had to become friends with those people. Let's go. Call over. Over here. Call over. Thank you. Jesus. I'm not going to feel bad about pushing you in now. Uh, mean. We're going to, um, insult. And then... How am I supposed to kill this lady? Um... I have to start being like mean to her. Scare. Argue. Accuse of being a diva. If she tries to leave, we'll just put her in our household. Can I do that, actually? We'll figure out a way. We have to kill this lady. How dare you! You betrayed the family! I didn't want this. Like she's she's gonna start yelling like Tony fucking Soprano. I think their group has been Dawson. Go fucking home. Come on. Shake down. Petty jab. Argue. We need to kill her. Mean. Special. What do you mean? Petty jab. Point out flaws. Like, can she not just kill her? Fight. No. Oh, how am I supposed to kill this lady? How do I up my assassination skill? <laughs> um. In? Point out flaws. Find out there's a llama. Like, I feel like we should not have to do all of this to kill somebody. Because it's not the violence and aggression mod. Like, I know that. LeBron. Do I have to get her, like, assassination skill up one? Um. Let's Google it, shall we? Let's Google it. Come on. Okay, so. Sims 3 NRAS assassination skill. Do I have to up her assassination skill to 1? Careers assassination. Um, blah, blah, blah. It can be used separately from the career and in conjunction with any third party mod that deals with death of Sims. Blah, blah, blah. Mass controller cheats. What is it? I can't do it. Uh, 
I'm very confused. Um... Like... Why can she not kill this lady? Do I have to up her assassination skill? Because I will. Like, if we have to. We'll try it. We'll up her assassination skill level 1. Um, intermediate... No, it's advanced. Advanced skill level. Assassination. One. Let's try it. Mean. Can we kill her now? Why can we not kill this lady? For two. Where'd she go? It's not how this is going to go. Um. Enras. Master controller. Sim. Focus. Where the fuck? Why can I not focus a fucking townie? What is happening? Leave me alone. Okay, so. Reset Sim. Janine. Hearn. Where is she? Where did she go? Focus. Like, she's just not there. Giuseppe. No, like, where is he over there? I understand he's over here, but I cannot see him. Is he? Is this where he lives? No. Where is he? God, we can I cannot see a thing. Whatever. Whatever, we'll go home, we'll try again in the morning. That's so irritating. Is it because of the violence and aggression mod? I'm gonna be very annoyed. I don't know why it would conflict. If you can kill people. Like. That's so irritating. That's very irritating, to be quite honest. Oh my god, we just ignored everybody else. Go use the restroom. We're gonna invite those people over. I don't care if we have to kill them on our lot. Invite over. I want... She's just not there. Like, I don't understand... I don't understand it. Oh, does it have to be Lucy? Not Lucy, Lyra. Invite over. Why can we not invite these random people over? It makes no sense to me. Like, not one ounce of sense. Like, where are they? Like, why can we not invite them over? Maybe we can invite him out to that place again, and then we can kill him. Oh, 
fuck you. We may have to kill somebody in the next episode. I may have to take out the violence and aggression mod and see if we can kill somebody then. Because I have had a sim assassinate another sim. Midnight Hollow. Margaret Fitzgerald assassinated somebody. Like, twice. I think she assassinated two people. She killed, um... She killed Maisie, and then she killed, um, Dr. Synapse. Did she not? So I feel like Lyra should be able to kill somebody. Like, they are confused. Whatever, it's fine. We'll do this tomorrow. It was gonna be so fun. Eat some country bread, and then you can go to bed. Um, use... Eat vegetarian dim sum. Use. 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 You can go eat some country bread. You can go eat some vegetarian dim sum. Never mind, you cannot eat any country bread. Oh, the children. We can age them. Why the fuck did you put those kids away? Give me one of them. Let's Sasha out. Let's Sasha out. My God, they're irritating. Go. Have some fucking food. Let Sasha out. Do not touch those children. Do not you, don't you dare. Don't you dare, put him down. Put him down. I didn't tell you to touch the child. I didn't tell you to hold the child. Put him down. Get out. Get out. Like, I'm dead serious. Go do something else. Okay. You. Genie. Summon food. Um. Ceviche. I don't give a fuck if they're hungry. Who cares? We'll change them into their everyday wares. Oh, blah, blah, blah. We'll kill somebody in the next episode. This is so irritating, but we're doing something this episode. Something. Don't you dare! Don't do. Why do they do that? Put the down the baby. Why do they do that? That has happened twice. Do not, do not hold the baby. I do not want you to hold the baby. If I wanted you to hold the baby, I would have told you to hold the baby. Okay. I think Sagan was born first. Trigger age transition. Trigger age transition. Lucy, go. Lucy, go do something else. Dance. You can go use the restroom. Um, don't you dare make any food. You little bastards, clean up. If you're hungry, go eat. There's ceviche in the in the entryway. Go eat your fucking ceviche. Grab a bowl. Grab a bowl. Grab a bowl. Don't you dare cook. God, I hate them. I don't hate them. I don't hate them. This episode has just not gone as what I wanted it to. It's fine, though. Yay! Birthdays! What terror is gonna be unleashed? One of them will probably end up insane. That'll, that'll top off this episode. Workaholic! Okay. That's not bad. Actually, that's probably probably good. 
Your turn, Sasha. Don't fuck it up. Especially because I like you more than Sagan. I really don't know why, but I do. I think we're gonna make Sagan. Yeah, we're gonna make Sagan like a like a goth kid, and I don't know what we're gonna do for Sasha. Good loner, excitable, yay! Nobody's insane. I still don't know when somebody does get insane. I am kind of sick of killing the insane Sims, <laughs> so I think we may have to we may have to further along the plot of like making this world just a tiny bit more humane. I think that may be what we have to do once we get a an insane sim. But like until then, we probably won't even deal with it. But like once we get an insane sim up to the level at which the young adult at which we would have had to kill them regularly, we may have to pass like a law <laughs> or something in the hundred baby challenge world. But I think for now, that's going to be all for now. In the next episode, hopefully Lucy will give birth and Sagan and Sasha will have their makeovers and hopefully Lyra can fucking kill somebody. Jesus, that's terrible. But, you know, we have to progress. So that's going to be all for now. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!